All right, straight up and down, I'm gonna just be real with you here. It is not the car, it's the driver. This video proves that you don't need a 5.7 liter Hemi, 6.4 liter 392 engine, Hellcat engine, Demon engine, in order to get away from police. If you know how to drive your car, that in and of itself is about half the battle, right? If you can get some space between you and the cop, you can do a lot of things. It's not about the power. It's about the driver behind the wheel. Dodge Charger GT, that's right, an all-wheel drive, 3.6 liter Pentastar V6, cooks Arkansas State Trooper so bad that the transmission on the 5.7 liter Hemi that the cop is driving goes into limp mode. That's how bad he cooked them. The transmission gave out mid-chase and he had to cancel it. Don't take my word for it. Let's go ahead and watch the video. What's up, guys? This is your boy, Knockout360, here with another video, man. So you can tell him in the house that makes it the house vlog. You know I was going down and come around. Let's get into it. I've got car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets. Anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around. For everyone else, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. I'm not even going to waste your time. First and foremost, shout out to my man, LRHN Cash. Dropping absolute heat. Go to his channel, like, subscribe, comment, show him some love. So it looks like we got Arkansas State Troopers posted up here doing what they do best. And then boom, they see a charger. It's time to pull out and go. I don't know how this charger didn't see this ASP officer right here. But apparently he didn't. ASP's on him. He's making a left. Like AS, a, ASP is not even making it like a, a secret that I'm behind you at this point. Let's fast forward just a little bit. All right, so we got a little bit of audio. Zebra Frank Edward, 79 ZFB. Yep, so he's reading his license plate, so you know what that means. All right, so boom, they're moving. And this is a GT. It may sound like something else. It's a GT. All right, so the cop's got his lights on. Yep. So he knows he's getting pulled over. Oh, he's shining the spotlight on him. Okay. GT badge, Charger GT. Get oh, that wasn't my audio. That was his audio, by the way. Look at how much room this V6 has created in that short amount of time. What he did was he let the cop get outside of the car. As soon as he got out the car, he took off. I've seen that two or three other times in videos in the past where V6s will let guys get, let the cop get out the car and then take off on it. But let me, let me stop stopping the video. Look at all that space he got. One on one. Let me see, 110, 110, 112, 120, 125, 130 catching the V6. One thirty trying to catch a V6. That's our boy right there. Driving the hell out that V6, man.
we're still going with the Chico towards the green. Where, where's the where's the V6 at? Do you see it? I don't see it. Do you see a V6 anywhere? I don't see anything. That's him right there. Damn, he got airborne. He got airborne. Carolina Street now. Carolina Street. He is struggling, man. He is struggling. Just to go right on the Hinman Park. He is struggling. To that transmission. It's got quite a gap on me. Um, I'm going to burn my old man. I'm going to get to it. Yep. I'm only able to get to about 60. His car is in limbo. He can't get past 60. Hey, what do you think? It's a great off charger. It's a yep, he's done. 789 Zero Frank Edward. Lives in Benton. Hear that he said he, he said exactly where he lives so because he got his license plate he's going to show up at that guy's house first thing in the morning yeah i lost him around she going baseline yeah. the <laughs> Glass was Chico going towards baseline. That car coming to a complete stop. Oh yeah, it's a wrap. That's a wrap. I mean, like I said, guys, it's not the car, it's the driver. You know, we love to talk about Hemi's and Hellcats, Scat Packs, 392s, 5.7s. I get it. The power helps. But if you know how to drive your car and you know where you are, like this guy did, he had two out of the three. He knew where he was. He had the gas. Didn't quite have the power, but he had enough power to get away. And he was smart enough at the beginning of the chase to let the cop get out the car. Then he took off so he could create some distance. And he created a hell of a lot of distance. Because let me see, what's what's a GT? The Dodge Charger GT, it's got the same engine. It's got that V6 Pentastar. Yeah, 3.6 liter V6, 300 horsepower. It's the same. But it's all-wheel drive, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's all-wheel drive. Um, so you're not getting no spin or nothing like that. When that car takes off, it's gone. But, I mean, eight-speed automatic, it's not really fast, but if you know how to drive it and you know what you're doing with it, you can make some damage. You can do some damage. And that's exactly what happened here. I mean, he was on the highway, and let's be honest here, he probably realized that I cannot outrun a 5.7 on the highway. So he got off of that, hit the back roads, literally hit the neighborhoods, was you know he had created enough room for himself in between you know at the gas station up until the point that he got into the neighborhoods that he was able to like literally get away on the one way street in the you know in these residential areas and at that point that's when the cop hit that bump completely messed up his transmission or he threw his car into limp mode at best and I mean from there it was over but even before the cop's car went into limp mode you couldn't see him because he knew where he was going. This wasn't random. This wasn't haphazard. He knew exactly where he was going. He didn't have the power. He didn't need it because he knew where he was going. You can't knock that. That's good driving skills on behalf of this guy. Uh, unfortunately, the cop's car is disabled. You know, I hate that for him, but uh, nobody was hurt. Nobody was harmed. Uh, I'm assuming he got arrested nine times out of ten because at the end of the video, the cop literally uh, articulated his, you know, the fact where he lives. I mean, the city and state that where he lives. And I'm sure he's going to find his exact address. So they're probably going to pop up on him first thing in the morning. You know, like it's time to go. You, the GT Charger, getting impounded, you're going to jail. In fact, what did he get charged with? I don't know. He did, I don't know. 
I don't know. But yeah, once that cop hit that speed bump, I'm looking at some of the comments. Once he hit that speed bump, that thing was disabled. Not that he was going to catch that V6 anyway, because that guy knew where he was going. And he stuck to it. You know what I mean? We saw him a little bit in the beginning, and then after that, he was gone. So that right there just lets you know, man, it's not the car, it's not the engine, it's the driver. How many times have we seen Scat Packs and Hellcats crash out? Too many times. Because it's not the car, it's the driver. You know, with all that power comes great responsibility. If you don't know how to handle it, you crash out. But then on the flip side, if you have a V6 and you know how to handle it, you get away. This is probably the third or fourth video that I've seen where V6 Mopar got away from uh, ASP. And specifically ASP because they're driving 5.7 liter Hemis. So, I mean, it's not the car, it's the driver. If you know what you're doing behind the wheel, no one can stop you and no one can touch you. Shout out to this Dodge Charger GT, man. This is my first GT on the channel. We've had RT, Scats, Cats, V6s, SXTs, SEs. We never had a GT. So this is a first for everybody. So, um, yeah, I mean, shout out to him, man. Once again, it's not the car, it's the driver. Shout out to the V6 boys and girls out there. Check out my man LRHN Cash. He's got the content. Go over there, like, subscribe, comment for the full video, the original video. As always, it's been your boy Knockout360, man. See you guys in the next one, man. Peace.